Genesis 37 to 41. We're now entering into a story of Joseph, which if we didn't know, we wouldn't realize that this story is really the end of Genesis. We are embarking on one continual uh, biography now of this man named Joseph. He starts as a 17-year-old at the beginning of chapter 37 and at the end of the book, the very last verse of Genesis, he dies at age 110. Uh, two things that I want to bring out of the story so far is, and let's actually review where we have been a little bit, we recall that back in 15.6, Genesis 15.6, that Abraham uh, was called righteous because of his, well, it comes across in English often as belief, but the better word for aman, the Hebrew term used there, is loyalty or allegiance. And the concept we learned before was that as I do not be loyal to other gods, but I'm loyal to the Creator God, He considers me righteous. That's the quick way of understanding uh, being right before God in the Old Testament. What we learn in chapter 39 of our reading today is that we can also use this idea. It says a couple, well, four times actually, that the Lord was with Joseph. It seems to be the the other side of loyalty. As Joseph will be a very strict believer in his creator God, he does not waver. It's said, as I say, four times in one chapter that the Lord was with him, which seems to be, again, a permanent way of describing God upholding his side of loyalty to a person who claims him. The other thing that happens, and this will be all the way to the end of the book, and it's just good to bring it up now so you can be watching for it, is how, well, the mean, petty, even sordid decisions of other people can still end up with God getting his story written in the life of a person. We call it providence in, theolo in, in theological terms. Here's the question I like to think of. When I think of what is providence, I put it in the form of a question. How can I, a free person among other free persons, carry out what God most desires and experience what God fully intends? How does a person like Joseph, who lives among brothers who are very cruel, still end up by the time the story is over, and let's watch how this goes, and be able to say, you meant it for evil, God meant it for good, and have such a positive outlook on his own life. That all begins with this picture here again of Joseph choosing to be loyal to God and God being with him. Mm -hmm.